Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a bar chart, a multiple version or sometimes known as a clustered version using Python and JupyterLab, Python 3 to be precise. So something like uh, this diagram up here. I'll zoom in a little bit more so that you can see hopefully slightly better. Let's move this out of the way and then we can get started. So the this type of diagram I would use if I have a clear depending and an independent variable. If you have not such a clear distinguish between those two, then you might want to look into something known as spline plots. But otherwise this could still be useful. Um, I'll put a link to this Jupyter notebook in the description below, so then you can read all the text if you like. Um, the first thing I need is an example because I'll show you how you can do this by using an example and I'll need to import therefore some data and I'm going to be using pandas for that. If you've never used pandas before you need to run this line which is pip install pandas and then you can load uh, some files in. I'll first need to load pandas and then I can read a file uh, using the read csv. The dot head shows the top five rows and as you can see there's just some data about different people. Um, I'll be using the merit one column which is the marital status and sex or gender if you will uh, as my two fields. So I'll load those in separately and then I can make a cross table out of them just to get a small comparison or a quick impression by using the cross step function from pandas I think yeah pd and so you can see these are roughly, so there were 29 male who were separated. Then the bar chart can actually easily be created by using that cross table that I just made and then plot it and using kind is bar, so it creates a bar chart out of it. And there we have already a pretty decent bar chart, a multiple one. Now, um, I prefer to actually have the diagram with percentages, so rather than having the counts here, i rather have percentages, and then percentage within each uh, cluster. So the percentage of males that is divorced versus the percentage of uh, females that are divorced, rather than their absolute counts. So to do that, I need to sum them up and then divide them by the total. So uh, the sum function can be used for the sum with x is zero, so it will actually add up the column wise. And then div for division, and then x is one, so it divides each column by the appropriate column total. So if I do that, um, so here I'm using that, my cross table, divide, then again my cross table, there's sum with x is zero, and then the division is by the x is one, times 100, so that it actually in percentages rather than proportions. So as you can see now from these results, if I add these up vertically, then um, this adds up to 100. Then we can simply use this percentage table now with a plot and then I have it in percentages. If you like you can also add some additional stuff by uh, for example loading in the matplotlib pyplot library. I'll load it in as plt. Again if you've never used that before use install matplotlib. And now I can use uh, things like y label and x label and that now it makes it slightly better in my opinion to have your axis always labeled. There's of course a lot more that can be done, changing colors, uh, changing width, uh, stuff like that, but just for the basics I think this should be clear enough. I hope this video was helpful. If you're looking for a stacked version, also a video on that, or just a simple one, also a video on that. Um, and thank you for watching and let me know if you have any suggestions or comments uh, in the comment section below.